Hello everyone, I'm Wen Jianli from Department of Advanced Production Engineering, University of Groningen, the Netherlands. It is a huge honor for me to have this opportunity to give this presentation on the FLAPS 2021. Today my topic is variable nanofiber based triple electric nano generator for body motion energy wasting. The fast development of the wearable technology have brought lots of convenience to us. I guess most people may have at least one smartwatch, which can record your exercise data, and that is exactly a wearable device. Indeed, wearable devices are now widely used in monitoring our body on all human body parameters, like heartbeat, heart rate, dehydration, sleeping conditions, and so on. Wearable devices from different parts of the body can compose a body sensor network. And this network can provide a comprehensive analysis of, of our body condition. And we also have a lot of requirements for those wearable devices, like wearable comfort, apparel integratability, and reliability. So researchers are developing stretchable and flexible electronic skin, lightweight unclosed sensors, out low power chips, and so on to meet these requirements. But these devices are still using batteries for the power supply, even though batteries may be can small in size. But they are still rigid and you have to replace it periodically. And they can can the integratability, comfort, and calmness. The next generation wearable devices are expected to be stretchable and flexible, conformal and lightweight, apparel or skin integratable. So what is the power supply solution will be for the next generation wearable devices? So can we make them self-powered systems without any batteries? The answer is yes, and the way is to have this energy from the environment, from our body motion. So for energy wasting, we all know piezoelectric, thermoelectric, electromagnetic, and solar energy. But this kind of energy, sorry, but this kind of energy wasting technology are not good at body energy wasting, since body energy is a low frequency. And random energy. The triple electric nano generator called TNG invented in 2012 based on the contact electrification and the electrostatic induction effect. It's an imagined technology for energy wasting and self power sensing, especially for low frequency energy, the frequency less than 5 hertz, and random energy wasting such as body motion energy. So for body motion energy wasting, we developed a nanofiber based TNG called the NF TNG, nylon and PVDF, which are typical positive and negative triple electric materials according to the triple electric series where electrons spawn into nanofibers. So the nanofibers can increase the surface roughness of the field and therefore, this can enhance the output performance of the TNG. In addition, 20 micrometer thick aluminum and 50 micrometer thick PE were used as electrode and substrate, respectively. So, all the materials in our devices are flexible and lightweight, offering the wearability to the NF TNG. The working mechanism is based on the contact electrification and electrostatic induction effect. When the two triple electric materials in this device, nylon and PVDF, contact with each other, positive and negative charges are generated on the spaces respectively. As a result of the contact electrification, and when the two triple electric layers begin to separate, Electrons will flow from the bottom electrode to the top electrode, driving by the electric 
sorry, driving by the electric potential difference between the two electrodes as a result of the electrostatic induction effect. And then when they are contacting again, the electrons will flow back. And this is how the electricity is generated and the energy is harvested by the NMT energy. A 40 times 40 square millimeter device was fabricated to test the output characteristics of the NMT energy. As you can see, with increased force, the voltage, current, and transferred charge increased fast and then saturated. As the load force applied on the NMT energy increased, the contact between the two triple electric layers were more intimate, and thus the effective contact area accordingly increased until it reached a maximum. Specifically, the voltage, current, and transfer charge were as high as 140 volts, 0 0.5 microampere, and 50 mi sorry, 50 nanocoulomb respectively, on the load force of 10 newton, and this force is a typical load intensity during our body movements. With increased frequencies, the voltage and charge of the NFT engine remained the same but as current showed a linear increase. This is because the maximum output voltage as well as the transferred charge are dependent on the space charge density and also the total contact area. However, the output current is related to the total transferred charge and the contact separation speed. So when the working frequency increases, the contact separation speed also increases, but the total contact area still remains the same. So our devices showed an excellent stability in its output. As you can see, there is no, uh, there is no observable degradation in the output of 1,000 working cycles. So with the high performance and stable output, the energy harvested by the NFTNG can be stored in capacitors or batteries. The NFTNG can charge the capacitor to 10 volts in just 110 seconds. So as all the materials applied in our devices are flexible, micro thick, micro thick, and lightweight, so the NFTNG, NFTNGs are quite available with good comfort. The MT engine was fast fixed on the fingertip to harvest energy from typing on keyboard. As you can see, the MT engine can generate an output voltage of 8 volts as the device contacts the various keys on the keyboard during our typing. A larger MT engine was further developed to be worn in the elbow. The output voltage of the MT engine is about 10 volts during the act of elbow bending. So the above proof of concept demonstrations showed the promising potential of the proposed NFTNG as wearable energy harvesters for powering wearable devices and the body sensor networks. Okay, that's all. Thank you for attention.